Hey, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and today I wanted to do a garden tour. This is something I just wanted to put on my channel. It's something my husband and I really enjoy doing. It's our third year gardening. I wanted to document what we're growing and how much food we're getting out of the garden and how much we're able to put back so we can look back on this and maybe it can help somebody else, inspire somebody to grow uh, food. So let's go take a look. So right here we have our potatoes growing and um, this is our first time trying to do this in five gallon buckets. You can see that these are just buckets from Tractor Supply and um, we planted the potatoes, filled the bucket up, let them sprout and get up above the buckets and then filled them with mulch um, and they're already starting to flower so maybe we might be able to get more than one um, planting out of these buckets this year um, we're not really sure just gonna kind of play it by ear and see how it goes these are the blue Adirondack and these are russet potatoes and then we've got a little pineapple that we're trying to grow here this was actually one we bought from the grocery store and it's got some new leaves on it so it's growing and this is our first time also trying to do that so hopefully that goes well this is our little fig tree and we've got a few little figs on here this would be the first year for um, it to put fruit out so we're super excited about that it's still a little bit small but getting there this is a satsuma and uh, this is still just a really small tree it's, it's a new tree and we're just waiting to see how it does so these are some of our plant starts. These are some of the things that were left over, but all of this right here is flowers that we're going to plant in with our garden. Um, some of it's coxcomb, which is really pretty, bachelor button, all kinds of different things to help attract pollinators. So we are looking forward to this getting um, bigger. Super excited about that because we like to have a pretty garden instead of just a garden for food. It's a little bit messy because it's that time of year, um, but this is where we started all of our seeds. Um, we didn't start everything from seed. We usually do, but this year we didn't. We were running a little behind, so we did buy a few things. Um, and then we're going to get ready, and we're going to try to do some microgreens out here pretty soon. So we'll be filming that too. We're, um, I cannot wait to get that done. We have never grown microgreens, and I can't wait to see how the process um, unfolds and we're super excited about that. So this is our small lime tree and you can see that it's got some limes on it already. And here we have our small olive tree. favorite tree because I love mangoes and that's exactly what this is. Here you can see this whole row right here is our peppers. Um, this is buena mulata. I don't know if you can see but this has a nice dark purple stem and these peppers are pretty prolific and they're like a dark purple and they've got a little heat punch to them. They're so good. That's also another buena mulata. And this is Sugar Rush Peach, and both of those peppers, the Buena Malata and the Sugar Rush Peach, came from Baker Creek Seeds. And these are so delicious, and they're so beautiful whenever they grow. They're a beautiful peach color, and we can't wait to get some of those again this year. And we've got Jalapeno and Serrano and another Serrano. And a busy little helper. Okay, and right here we have some tree okra and I'm super curious to see how this is going to turn <laughs> out because um, this is supposed to grow like a tree and branch off. 
Um, this was given to me by a master gardener here in Texas. So these are our mammoth sunflowers and they're already starting to get really tall. Um, we're going to take these and let these grow up and we're um, going to plant some beans around the pole and let that grow up with the sunflowers. Um, another thing here is our pink brandy wine. And we tried to grow these last year, but it did not produce a single tomato. And so we've already got three. I think there might be a fourth little one in here somewhere. So yay, hopefully we get some of these tomatoes from our plant. Uh, we are looking forward to brandy wine. Okay, so this okra here is Alabama red and we grew this a couple years ago and this is super prolific and they put out some beautiful little red greenish um, okra and it just kept growing and growing and growing so and then right here we have our Cherokee purple tomato this is a little heirloom tomato that we are enjoying growing and we've already got a bunch of little guys on there we have our tomatoes and our okra and our sunflowers kind of all interspersed with each other um, and we're gonna keep our tomato plants uh, pruned pretty heavily um, you can see like we've we've got them pruned and mulched so that try to keep as much dirt splash off of our plants as possible and to allow for better airflow. Here we have another little bit of a row of peppers. Kind of all the way down through here. Cuban nail, Mr. Stripey. And then a pimento at the end. We've got some little pimentos right here I'm so looking forward to these I want to see if we can jar these and um, we are going to dehydrate and make some spice blends of our peppers plus we just like to eat them fresh Look at these big, beautiful cow horns. And this, this is one of our favorite basils. It's called Red Freddy. This is also from Baker Creek. And it um, is kind of like your regular basil it's just got such a beautiful purple color it doesn't make it exactly the best looking pesto because whenever you blend it up <laughs> it's brown because I've tried that um, but it tastes the exact same um, but it's pretty on a lot of other things especially in salads and it's delicious okay these are pretty common here in the south these are some pink eyed purple hole peas and these are bush and I've actually got a couple more planted in between here um, you can see something's kind of getting after these. And we'll end up spraying some neem oil on that today, this evening, to try to help combat that. And then we have our Chicago pickling cucumbers here that are just putting their runners out to start going up the fence. So sometimes we come over here and just wrap them up and help them along. This is something new that we've never grown before. It is called a white scallop squash. And this, I believe, came from Baker Creek. Um, and it's just like a little squatty, flat squash. And they say it's super delicious. So we can't wait to see what it tastes like. Okay, and this is a trellis that my husband just got through putting up for me. We are going to plant some rattlesnake beans. Um, and I forgot to mention what other kind of beans we were putting on the sunflowers. It's going to be the yard long beans or the noodle beans. So hopefully they do well on that. And I think we're also going to let them run up in between this trellis here. And the noodle beans will be runners. They'll be pole beans. 
this is a squash that I bought from a little place. I can't remember the name of it. Um, this is called center cut squash and it's supposed to, we have never grown this before either. It's supposed to have like a bell shaped bottom with a long neck somewhere around like, I don't know, 12, 14 inches long maybe from top to bottom. That's what it looks like to me in the picture. And supposedly, it's supposed to be a whole lot less watery than your typical zucchini squash because uh, the seeds are concentrated in the bottom of that bill. So we're curious to see how that does. Here, I've just got like a traditional crook neck summer squash. Um, you can see we've already got a lot of little guys on there. Some that are getting ready to open their blooms. So, usually once squash get going, they are pretty prolific and you better be ready to eat some squash. This is the butternut squash that we have and it's already got a few little blooms on it. It's putting runners out. It's growing like crazy. We're trying to train it up the trellis so we've got some floral tape wrapped around it which actually works really well. We've been using that this year and um, it's gentle on the plants but it holds it well. herbs that we have growing and some other stuff that we have in pots. Okay, so here is my cilantro that I have growing. I had just started this. It's already trying to bolt on me. I just cut some flowers off of it. I'm not sure if that will work. I know that works with hazel, but you can see like it's trying to flower here. So I guess that eventually we're just going to let it go to seed and see what happens from there. Okay, here is some dill fern, and I have been using this to make ranch and to put in all different kinds of recipes, and it has been really delicious and nice to have some fresh dill. This is the first time I've grown this. One really neat thing, this isn't something that we're gonna eat, but this is something that can be used like medicinally. This is, I had never heard of this, and I saw this at a little local shop and it is called a Vicks Vapor Rub plant. And if you rub your fingers on it like this and then smell it, it smells exactly like Vicks Vapor Rub. And you can use this to make a salve out of um, to help with cough and congestion. So I got to look this up. If anybody's ever done that that's watching this video, maybe leave a comment below and let me know how to do it. Something that I have here is my dragon fruit cutting and I am trying to get it to root so it's been over here under the shade while it's trying to root. This is supposed to grow pretty quickly once it roots. It's supposed to take off pretty well. Um, we've just put this in here. It's probably been here about a week I would think. Um, so I'm curious to see how this is going to go. Okay so this is just a tiny little herb garden that I have going but I planted some echinacea here. Um, never grown this before. We've got some parsley here, some oregano, this is English thyme, and they all just smell so good, and some sage. And I had my cilantro and my dill here, but I ended up actually moving them because they got too big for this area quickly. Here I've got some lavender that I'm growing. You can see my pretty little blooms. Oh, and it just smells so good. This is all of my mint. I've got peppermint, spearmint, and sweet mint. And you can just rub your hands in this. And it smells so good and minty. And then my rosemary, which we're hoping that this takes off. So that's pretty much what we've got growing. We may have a few little things that I skipped over here and there but I want to continue to do these garden tours maybe once a week and upload them just kind of like vlog style and show you what's going on with the garden, what we're doing, the problems that we're encountering, the successes that we're having, and hopefully we can um, inspire some other people to grow some things and enjoy the beauty uh, that is a garden 
like I said, we just love this so much and we hope that it shines through to you. Thank you.